Nikon just released a new firmware update for the Nikon Z9. This is version 5.30. On the surface, it might look like a small update. However, it is actually packed with features that photographers have wanted for a long time. Many of these features were already available on the Z8 and the Z6 III. Now, the flagship Z9 finally has them too. But there are also some completely new features that we haven't seen on any Z series camera before. There is one specific feature in this update that I have been waiting for since the day the Z9 launched. I am so happy to see it is finally an option. Let's start with the features brought over from previous Z series cameras. The Z9 now has the ability to use the focus limiter. This is an incredibly useful setting for many types of photography. It helps the camera focus faster by limiting the distance range it searches. You can now customize this feature directly onto a button. This gives you instant access from function buttons 1, 2, or 3. You no longer have to dig through menus to change your focus distance. This makes the camera much more responsive in the field. The customizable focus areas have also been improved. The wide area C1 and C2 options are now extended. They are now in line with the Z8 and Z6 III. This gives you more options when you choose your own focusing area. You can set it horizontally or vertically to fit your subject. This change gives you larger coverage over the entire frame. It allows you to be much more precise with your composition. Whether you are shooting sports or portraits, this extra customization makes a big difference. Another great addition is the new monochrome picture controls. These were first seen on the Nikon ZF. Now, they are available in the Z9 picture control menu. You get access to deep tone monochrome and flat monochrome. These are perfect if you like to shoot black and white in the camera. These adjustments work for both still photos and video. You can use these customized looks to get the exact style you want without extra editing. It is a great way to see your final image while you are actually shooting. But the most exciting changes are the brand new features. One of these changes how the autofocus system works at a basic level. You can now use subject detection in any autofocusing area. Previously, modes like single point and dynamic area were restricted. They could follow a subject, but they couldn't recognize faces or eyes. There used to be a complicated workaround for this, but it wasn't perfect. Now, you can properly use single point and subject detection at the same time. This is a huge win for photographers who want total control over their focus point. There is also a new option to pick exactly where subject detection is active. For example, you might want it for a single point but not for a dynamic area. You can now fine-tune these settings to fit your specific shooting style. This applies all the time once you set it up. It allows you to be much more granular with how your camera behaves. You won't have the camera looking for eyes when you don't want it to. This level of control is exactly what professional shooters expect from a flagship body. Finally, we have the feature I have wanted since day one. You can now cycle through subject detection options with a single button. Before this, you had to use complex workarounds or dive into the eye menu. Now you just press a button to switch from people to animals to vehicles. You can have cycle AF area and cycle subject detection both on your function buttons. This means you have complete control over your focus area and your subject type without ever looking away from the viewfinder. It is a simple solution that makes a massive difference in fast-paced situations. Nikon rarely makes noise when it updates firmware. They do not use dramatic language. They do not hype small changes. That is why this update matters more than it looks on paper. Firmware version 5.30 for the Nikon Z9 is not flashy. It does not add headline features like new codecs or higher frame rates. Instead, it quietly fixes something much more important. Control. This update is about giving photographers and filmmakers direct control over how the Z9 behaves in real situations. And that changes everything. When the Z9 first launched, it already felt ahead of its time. No mechanical shutter. Incredible speed. Reliable autofocus. Strong video tools. It was a camera designed for professionals who needed consistency more than excitement. But over time, as Nikon released newer bodies like the Z8 and ZF, something strange happened. Smaller cameras started to feel more flexible. They gained features that made daily shooting faster and more intuitive. Z9 users noticed this. 
and they waited. Firmware 5.30 is Nikon's answer to that wait. At first glance, the update looks small. But the deeper you go, the more you realize that Nikon listened very carefully. This update is not about adding power. The Z9 already had power. This update is about removing friction. It is about reducing the number of steps between what you see and what the camera does. That is the kind of improvement professionals care about. One of the most important additions is the focus limiter. This is not a new idea. Nikon already introduced it on other Z bodies. But bringing it to the Z9 changes how telephoto shooting feels. A focus limiter lets you tell the camera where not to look. Instead of hunting through the entire focus range, the camera stays within defined distances. That means faster lock-on. Fewer missed shots. Less frustration. What makes this even better is button customization. The focus limiter is no longer buried in menus. You can assign it directly to a function button. One press. Instant control. This matters in wildlife. It matters in sports. It matters when your subject moves fast and your reaction time matters more than settings. Nikon also expanded the customizable autofocus areas. Wide area C1 and C2 now offer more flexibility. You can shape them horizontally or vertically. You can cover more of the frame. This gives you more control over how the camera sees the scene. It allows you to adapt the autofocus system to your shooting style instead of adapting your shooting style to the camera. Then there are the monochrome picture controls. These may seem small, but they reveal something important about Nikon's direction. Deep tone monochrome and flat monochrome are not gimmicks. They are tools. They let photographers pre-visualize black and white images with more intention. They also apply to video. That means creators can shape their look in camera, not just in post. But the real heart of this update starts with autofocus. For a long time, the Z9 had a strange limitation. Subject detection only worked in certain autofocus modes. Single point and dynamic areas could not use it. That never made sense to many professionals. Sometimes you want precision and intelligence at the same time. Firmware 5.30 finally removes that limitation. Now, subject detection works in any autofocus area. This is a big deal. It means you can use single point autofocus with eye detection. You can use dynamic areas with subject recognition. You no longer have to choose between control and intelligence. You get both. This single change completely alters how flexible the Z9 feels in the field. Even better, Nikon added the ability to choose exactly which autofocus modes use subject detection. You are no longer forced into one behavior. You can fine-tune your setup. Maybe you want subject detection in a single point, but not in a small dynamic one. Now you can do that. Once set, it stays that way. This is not about specs. This is about trust. When a camera behaves exactly the way you expect, you stop thinking about it. You focus on the moment. Firmware 5.30 moves the Z9 closer to that ideal. Then comes the feature many users have waited for since day one. Subject detection cycling on a button. Before this update, changing subject detection meant diving into menus or using workarounds that consumed recall functions. It was slow. It broke your flow. Now, you can assign subject detection cycling to a function button. One press cycles between people, animals, vehicles, and off. This changes how the Z9 works in mixed environments. If you shoot events, sports, or wildlife in unpredictable settings, this matters. You can react instantly. No menus. No hesitation. Just control. When you combine this with AF area cycling and the focus limiter, something interesting happens. The Z9 becomes modular. You control three critical aspects of autofocus directly from buttons. Area. Subject. Distance. That level of control is rare. And it is exactly what professionals asked for. Nikon also mentions improved autofocus reliability in the update notes. They do not explain much. But behind the scenes, there are real changes. 3D tracking has been refined. It locks faster. It holds subjects more confidently during erratic movement. This benefits sports and wildlife shooters the most. There is also improvement in background misfocus scenarios. In rare cases, 
earlier firmware could confirm focus even when the camera slipped to the background. This behavior has been reduced. It may not sound dramatic, but when it happens during paid work, it matters. Another smart addition affects super telephoto users. If your lens has a built-in teleconverter, you can now link it to image area switching. When you activate the teleconverter, the camera can automatically switch from FX to DX. That stacks reach instantly. One action. Two effects. You can also choose how it behaves when disengaged. Stay in DX. Or return to FX. This flexibility is exactly what field photographers want. It saves time. It reduces mistakes. It keeps your attention on the subject. This firmware update does not try to reinvent the Z9. It does something better. It finishes it. It turns a powerful camera into a more responsive one. It turns menus into muscle memory. It removes small barriers that slow professionals down. And most importantly, it shows something about Nikon's future. This is not maintenance. This is refinement. Nikon is no longer racing to catch up. They are polishing what already works. Firmware 5.30 proves that the Z9 is not a finished product frozen in time. It is a platform. And Nikon is still building on it. In the next section, we will talk about why this update matters beyond the Z9. Why it hints at Nikon's broader strategy. And why firmware may be the most important battlefield leading into 2026.